welcome to my channel plant based storm i'm stormy and today i wanted to do a video on making your own homemade vegetable stock it's something super easy cuts down on food waste and is pennies on the dollar so i had these laying around i'm throwing this in there this is not a necessary item but these dried stocky mushrooms are going to add a lot of umami flavor to the vegetable broth like i said you do not have to add these but they will add a lot of flavor these particular vegetables the carrots and celery were just dying in my refrigerator so i'm throwing them right into the broth as well and i'm going to add in some turnips that i picked from the garden now all of these things are extras you do not have to add these you can simply add the scraps that you've been saving um, until you have enough to make the vegetable broth so don't feel like you have to run out and buy all of this stuff but if you have it or you want to use it the more vegetables that you add into there the more layers of flavor you're going to get as you can see this is a lot of scraps I've been saving these over several weeks and it's just the bits ends and pieces and there's a large variety of things in here um, as you can see there's uh, onion skins there's garlic skins there's bits and pieces of onion that is a summer squash there is a bell pepper and all sorts of other things there's zucchini in here um, just any kind of like bits ends and pieces the skins are fine to put in there they add a lot of extra flavor there's nutrition in that as well so just add in all of your little bits and pieces from cooking and it's going to make your broth so much flavorful and then also this is going to be mostly potato skins here and um, there's some more onion skins and then I'm, this is a five quart pot so just go ahead and fill it up to the top I'm also throwing in the reconstituted shiitake mushrooms because I want it to add that nice deep depth and umami flavor that you get from these types of mushrooms just to give it a richness um, so I'm going to like kind of submerge everything mix it around and you want to do this like a low and slow kind of cooking and I'm going to add in these turnip greens. Now these were the greens that I pulled from the garden that were right onto the turnip. You can um, add in like a cup of frozen greens if you have them or you can omit it. And then I'm going to put in a couple big tablespoons of tomato paste just again to add some layer of flavor in there. Um, this is going to be a nice dark rich broth that you can add to soups or any type of cooking that you're doing especially delicious in rice so just kind of like stir that in until it dissolves and then go ahead and bring it to that low and slow boil then you can add all of your favorite seasonings. I'm not sure if you can see, but in the back left side of the pot is a handful of fresh parsley that was frozen. I'm also going to add in some whole peppercorns for some extra flavor. And you just really want to kind of like mix that in there and stir it down. Any kind of fresh herbs that you want to add in there that you would add to a soup is going to add a lot of flavor. I'm also adding in some dried thyme. Thyme is so good for you. If you have the fresh, that's even better. It's got a lot of antibacterial properties. And you just really want to let it go and do that low and slow boil. I'm also adding in some tomatoes uh, that needed to be used up. And I'm going to cook this down and let the liquid concentrate so like I said it started out at the five quart and you'll see I end up right below the four quart mark which is like three and a half quarts or so maybe a little bit more but by the time that I remove all of these veggies it's going to be a lot less than that and so my liquid has reduced to at least half and it's going to be nice and flavorful and concentrated so that is a key thing to remember is to let your liquid cook low slow and reduce and then I'm just going to let this drain into a pot and I'm going to pour it up into my quart jars uh, so that I can use it however I want to. You could also put it in a ice cream cube tray if you want to use it little bits at a time and freeze it and you can pull uh, just one little ice cube out at a time. I like to put it in quarts because it's so delicious. I don't want to be using it up little bits at a time. I want to use it as a base in like soups and stews and especially delicious like I said in rice dishes. So the choice is yours. However you decide to store it and use it, it will keep in the refrigerator for about five days or freeze for about a month. I kept this low sodium. 
um, you can add salt to it if you'd like to um, I did not put any salt in this so that it would stay low sodium so again the choice is yours if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always thanks so much for watching Thank you.